Hi, I'm Natasha Baker and I'm here at the British Riding Club's Verde Horse Wedding Dressage Music Championships 2016. I've had such a good day watching all these amazing riders and their great music. It's been When I'm putting together a new freestyle to music, it's really important to keep the compulsories first and foremost thing on your mind. Make sure that you keep the test symmetrical so it's really easy for the judges to follow. And don't clump all of the um, compulsories together. Make sure you can spread them out throughout your test. I never start on a compulsory movement because if your horse is a little bit tense from going into the arena, it's always good to put something else in first to then flow into a compulsory movement. So you've got a little bit more time to get together and prepare for your compulsory because really that's what's the most important thing in your test. Try not to do too many transitions, try and keep the, all the trot work, all the walk work and all the pants work together so it's really easy for the judges to follow. And make sure that you play on your horse's strengths. If you're good on one rein and not so good on the other, do your good rein first and then follow on with the not so good rein. And just make sure that it's completely equal on both reins. I hope this helps. into a competition you're bound to feel nervous and this is actually quite a good thing it gets the adrenaline going and it gets you pumped and ready to go as long as you use it to your advantage it's really good to actually go in feeling a little bit excited as long as that doesn't go th down through your pony so take a deep breath and relax for freestyle definitely just imagine that you're going into another competition riding exactly the same fall plan as you do at home and just relax and enjoy it the judges don't actually know where you're meant to be going. So if you go wrong, it doesn't matter. You can just freestyle your freestyle. I had to do that when I was in London at the Paralympic Games. So if it's possible there, it's possible anywhere. But the main thing is to just smile, relax and breathe and enjoy. When you go into a competition, it's really important to have a bit of a warm-up plan. Think about it when you're at home training. What do you do to get your horse ready and in peak performance to be able to go into a test? You can then replicate that when you get to a competition. So go through all exactly the same exercises that you know that work for you and your horse. So that when you get in that arena, you know that you're about to perform in front of the judges and you feel 100% ready. It's also important to think about the scale. Compared to the actual arena that you're competing in and your warm-up, is your warm-up a lot bigger or a lot smaller? Bear in mind the sizes of your circles, for example. If you're going to be practicing 10 meter circles in your warm-up, make sure that they are genuinely 10 meters, because when you get in there, they could be a lot bigger or a lot smaller. So make sure that you practice the scale in your warm-up compared to what you're going to be competing in. So I've just got back from the Rio 2016 Paralympic Games and I was really fortunate to have won three gold medals out there. JP and I had the most fantastic time. It was a brilliantly organised competition and it was really, really good fun. The three tests went as well as they could have done. My freestyle was definitely my favourite though. It's definitely a highlight of mine and something that I really look forward to. My freestyle is definitely my favourite because of the music. 
I love riding to my music which is uh, composed by Tom Hunt and it's avatar music which is really enchanting and beautiful. It feels like I want to take off with my wings at the end of the test. Um, JP went so well and I think it's actually the best freestyle that we've done together purely because nothing actually really went wrong. I was bang on my time, every time the music changed I was on my transitions and I was exactly where I wanted to be. And so when I finished, I was really emotional. Um, it was such an amazing four minutes of my life and to find out then that I'd won the gold medal from completing it was just the cherry on top. Um, it was also emotional because it was my last para competition with JP. So it was a, a definite way to go out on a high from.